Okay, moving right along. More image gallery stuff here. Okay, in the last movie, we I talked about how you attach your scripts. So you need to make sure you have both JavaScripts uh, linked into your document, and then use the link tag and link the uh, style sheet for Slimbox in here. Okay. Now what we need to do is this is a very simple layout that I've selected here that I'm using. We're doing using a container div because I want everything centered up. I basically have three divs that go right on down. I have the header div, which simply contains an H1 tag with the name of the gallery, which is botanicals. Under that, I'm going to have an empty div right now. I'm about to fill this up with photographs. That's the div with an ID of photographs. That's where all the photos are going to go. And then below that, I'm using a div with the ID of footer, and that's just simply a copyright statement. So this is how you're going to add your images in. Okay. First of all, the first thing I'm going to do is create some div tags. Div, and then let's close that out. Now I'm going to create a separate div for each thumbnail. Okay, It's just going to be easier to manipulate with the layout, which you'll see in the next film. But uh, anyway, trust me for now. Okay, Inside the div, I need an image tag, img, and that self-closes. Okay, And the image, for this one, I'm going to use the source src equals. Okay, now let me stop for a minute. Here's my, my quotes. Let's go down here. If you can see over in my tray on the uh, left hand side of the screen here, inside my images folder, we're in the index file down. Sorry, I bumped that around. We're in the index file right now. And if you open the images folder, that's where all my images are. Here's one, and they've kind of put them out of order in here, but it is because it's going off in America. It's 1, 10, 11, 12, and it bops back down. But anyway, let's go back over to the finder and I'll show you there. Here's my images folder and the Mac will display correctly. So I have 1, 1T, one 2T. Two, two now remember in the, in the image movie that we did a minute ago, I know without looking at these that the regular number is the large image, so 2 would be that one, and then 2T is its corresponding thumbnail. Okay, So let's go back over to the HTML for a second, and I'm going to go ahead and say image source equals images, images folder slash 1T dot jpg because I want it to be the thumbnail. And remember in the image tag if we want this to validate it needs to be alt alt equals and you can leave that blank but you have to have it there. Or you can fill it in if you know what your image is. Okay so I have my image source equals images 1t dot jpg alt equals I'm going to leave it blank but anyway let's go over and let's preview this in the browser. So let's go ahead and put this over. And you can see I only have one image here but it did display the thumbnail correctly and I don't have any styles written for this so pretty plain Jane right now. Okay. Go back over to TextMate. Okay, now what I need to do is I need to put a link around this because the way Slimbox works is it's going to look through, it's going to find your images, and it's going to look for a link that attaches to them. So what we're going to do is put an A tag around here simply. Let's go ahead and close this because it ends after the image. So end A. Okay, so we're going to go A, and then I need my href equals, and this is going to go to the large image. So images slash 1.jpg. Simple enough. Okay, so there's a href equals images slash one dot jpg. So that's the link we're going to. Now, as this stands right now, let's go save this and refresh the page. What does now, because I haven't activated the script yet, if I click on this, it's just going to bring up the larger image in the browser. And you might do that, just make sure it's there. You've checked it. Okay, but what I want this to do is I want to do that cool effect that, uh, that Slimbox allows you to do. So what it's going to do is it's linking to the larger image. So it is going to go get that larger image. That's why you need the A tag. But it's going to load it dynamically inside the browser. So let's go back here a second. And all I need to do to make this work is I just need to tell it that, hey, I want the effect to go on this particular linked image. So what I'm going to do is add this into the A tag. We're going to add a second attribute called REL, or relation, equals. And then in quotes, let's say lightbox, L-I-G-H-T-B-O-X. Now this is a hangover from when this script used to be called lightbox. Okay, Let's go back over now and simply refresh the page. Now when I select it, it did not work. Hang on, what am I missing? Oh, I didn't refresh, sorry. So now it works, okay. Make sure you refresh your page, save your... your, your um, save your HTML. So now you can see when I click on this image that in fact it does blow up using the script. So I'm halfway there. That's the easy part. Okay. So now what you're going to need to do, I'm going to show you the easiest way to do this, is let's go back over here. And I'm just simply going to cut and paste this entire div. So we have these little divs inside the photograph div. Okay. Let's copy it, drop a line, let's paste it. And you can wash, rinse, and repeat as many times as you need to. Let's go ahead and put four in here right now. Put as many as you need for your images. Now all I have to do is go in and change these. One, two, three, four, because remember my names are just the numbers. And here's going to be one T, over here two T. Let's delete this one, three T and four T. Save it. Let's go back over and refresh the browser. 
Okay, now I have my images. Now what I need to do is when I click on each one of them, they work, but I don't get the previous and next buttons. Okay, what's going on with that? I don't get any of them. Okay, so let me show you how you're gonna add that in there. Go back to your HTML. All you're gonna do is where you have REL equals lightbox, you're gonna add something to it. You're gonna add, first of all, some square braces, okay? And inside the square, not the curly braces, the square braces and not parentheses. These are the square brackets, okay? Inside Lightbox, all I need to do is put a name in here and it can be anything. It just needs to stay consistent. So I'm going to call this Flowers. Okay, that's fine. I made up that name. Just make sure on each one you put the, the square braces and call it Flowers. And what it's doing is it's grouping them. So Slimbox is going to look down the document here and it's going to say, okay, I'm looking for anything with a rel of Lightbox in it and I'm going to throw the effect on that uh, because I've been added to the HTML document and anything that's grouped inside that bracket I'm going to put the previous and next buttons on. So what you can do is for instance I could have four images that are in a flowers group and I can create another four images that are in people and what you'll do is when you get to the last flower image you won't get a next uh, button because it's going to a separate gallery. So if you want to divide your stuff out like that there certainly is that option. I'm not worried about it here. I just want them all to group together so it doesn't matter what I have in the braces. Just no spaces. Let's come back here. Let's refresh. Go ahead and select the first one and now you can see I do have a next tab here and it automatically did the math. Notice it also figured out down here how many images there were on the page and which image this is. So what's really great about Slimbox is it goes through your document and it gathers information about it first and then it does everything behind the scenes. So that's all you have to do to set up Slimbox. Let's go back and review here just so I can show you real quick. Just make sure in the top of your document, and these do need to be in this order, you need your script type text slash JavaScript. The source is because we're attaching an external JavaScript so we use the script tag for this. It's going to be JS for the source, JS slash mootools.js, close the tag out. You're going to add another script tag, same type, text JavaScript. Your source is going to be JS slash slimbox.js. Okay, so those are those two files. Then below that, I need to link up the style sheet, and we're good to go. Okay, now all we need to do is link up our own style sheet on top of this and style the document. And I'm going to give you, we've covered enough of that in, this, in, uh, in the last couple podcasts for you to kind of know what you want to do design-wise. But I do want to reinforce one thing we were talking about with floats, and I'll do that in the next clip, and we'll be on our way. So let's go ahead and do that now.